I'm afraid you don't get pictures because I forgot in the garden and I couldn't in the house. I have just spent a couple of hours at this place. It's Edmundsham House. And I have never enjoyed going round a house so much. It is not open most of the time. It is open on Wednesday afternoons from 2 till 5 in April and October. So three hours once a week for two months a year. It is very much a family home. It's not smart. It's not got antique furniture. Bremer was wonderful. It had some amazing furniture. It's beautifully set out. You can tour the rooms. You get a guide. What happens when you go to Edmonton is the owner of the house takes you inside and tells you about the history of her house. So you go in and you go into the hall and she tells you all the... You, they pulled chairs out of all the rooms. There are chairs around the room. You all sit down. She tells you about that room. Then if it's a big group, some of you go into the dining room, you all sit down in more chairs and she tells you about that. And then she takes you through to um, the withdrawing room and you, same, and you go to the library. And then at the end of it, she says, now, you have a look round. I'm just going to go and put the kettle on to make tea. And she does. She trots off into the dining room and there's lots of cakes. They're all homemade. They've obviously spent the week making lots of lovely little homemade cakes. And she puts the kettle on and she makes everybody a cup of tea. It's not a smart house. It's shabby. It's worn. It's a home. And she is an older woman. She's, she's really quite elderly. I have never enjoyed myself so much. It was such fun and I felt so privileged just, you know, one of the things she said, and there is Sean the Sheep that my granddaughter gave me. You know, it's that kind of place. The gardens are absolutely glorious and they are open a little bit more often and the church is beautiful. If you are in the area, it is near Verwood, uh, Wimborne, Dorset. If you are in the area, I thoroughly recommend it because it really is, it's so refreshing. You go round all the uh, National Trust places and they're all groomed in the historic houses. They're groomed to an inch in their life. And they're beautiful and I really love them. And I appreciate the history. This one isn't. And it's so much lovelier for the fact that it just isn't. You can see that they frantically sorted it out so they can tell people about their house for, what, eight times a year. And, yeah, it's absolutely glorious. And I felt so privileged. It was wonderful.